Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here in the backyard doing a little goofing around tonight. Perfect night for uh, getting out in the backyard. It's uh, a little breezy, but uh, we'll get out here and shoot anyway. We'll uh, do some test pellets downrange and see how we do. One thing I was thinking about doing, I did a little video on this Ruger Airhawk the other day, uh, shooting inside, and it was shooting pretty darn good. So I wanted to uh, get out and shoot some at a little bit better length uh, groups with it before I did any kind of work on it and just see what we can do beforehand and see if we make any improvement once we do get uh, some tune-up done on it but I did play around with it a little bit beforehand just to make sure it was zeroed it was shooting several inches high uh, at we're shooting I paced it off 20 paces so it's probably just a little over 20 yards It is a pretty warm one out here tonight, so pardon me if I drink a little bit while we're shooting here. But I'm going to do two groups. I got some light pellets. I got these Diablo RWS Diablo Basics, and they're a seven grain pellet. And then I have these JSB Match, and these are a 7.72 grain pellet. So we'll go ahead and do a couple of groups with each one, or one group with each one. See which one shoots better. I think. Uh, these JSBs really shot good in it the other day, so we'll go ahead and see what we can do. We'll do a five shot group with each one. We'll start out with the RWS basics. Got some really good feedback on this guy on the other video that I did, so I'm really kind of hoping it really can turn out as competitive and nice as uh, some people say it might. <clears throat> so this is a little Cabela's 3 to 9 by 40 scope on it. And it's not the greatest scope in the world. I think if uh, once I do do some upgrades on it, I may look in my collection and see if I can find a little bit better scope. It's not the clearest scope in the world. It's not starting out very good. Doesn't seem to be doing very good with these RWS pellets, that's for sure. I wonder if it could be just putting too much power into it and causing them to go haywire once it starts to get down range a little bit. All right, one more of these guys and I'll we'll switch over to some heavier ones, see if we can do any better. You know, I certainly wasn't expecting fine work bow accuracy or viral accuracy, but boy, I was hoping for a little bit better than that. All right, well, doesn't like the RWS basics. Let's see if it'll like the JSBs any better. <laughs> but a bad day of shooting is better than a good day of just about anything else, right?
<laughs> the trees are firing back. Got a, uh, I think it's a chestnut tree out here in the back. For whatever reason, some of the chestnuts are falling off early here. Hitting the tin roof on my back shed. All right, well, that's a little better group, but uh, not terribly impressive either. So I guess uh, we'll have to do a little bit of tuning up on this guy and, and see if we can make any improvements to it. So what do we got there? We've got... Uh, probably about a at least an inch and a half group on the from the RWS's and probably pretty close to that as well with the JSB's even though that's a little bit looks like a little bit tighter of a group with the JSB's but anyway it is what it is we're uh, this is a, a journey here we're just starting out on the uh, the first couple steps, but uh, we'll get this guy apart, see what we can do as far as dampening the spring a little bit. That'll probably help out a lot with the uh, with the shot placement at distance like this and uh, work on this trigger a little bit, get some of that mush out of there. It's really kind of spongy, but uh, it's a, uh, I paid I think I paid $86 for this uh, on sale at a sporting goods store that was going out of going out of business up here in the area, and uh, you can still get them, I believe, for just over 100 bucks, 125 bucks maybe. So it's it's a budget, made in China air rifle made by Umarex, but you know if you're that all those are all minute of squirrel shots, so. You know, that's, uh, this would be deadly to, for squirrels, for sure. Uh, these are running, I shot with the Diablo Basics, the RWS Diablo Basics, uh, 975. I had one that was almost 1,000, 990. So I, it definitely would be a squirrel killer, for sure. But anyway, stay tuned, and we'll get this guy tuned up, and we'll do some more groups with it. Hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you check out down below in my uh, in my descriptions. Uh, I do have a, a GoFundMe page running for my dog. Uh, this is uh, July of 2022. If you're watching it later in the future, then that won't apply. But uh, if you're watching it right away after I posted it, please consider that. Um, I'm trying to... Uh, help out the little girl, get her some cataract surgery, but it's very expensive. Um, I'm actually selling some of my guns so I can collect up the money to do it as well, but any consideration from you folks would be greatly appreciated as well. But um, hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, have a great day.